Hello, and welcome to this video walkthrough of the registration process for the Lions Club's International Convention. Today, I'm going to show you the online registration process step by step. There are basically seven steps involved in the registration, and we'll go through each step in detail from start to finish. So, let's get started. When registering for the convention, you'll ultimately find yourself on this main registration page. You'll get familiar with this page because not only will you open a registration account here, but as you can see, you can also access your account at any time by logging in. You can review a valuable summary of important contact information and registration details by clicking this link here in the navigation bar. Since we're here to open a new registration account, our first step is going to be simply clicking the blue Attendee Registration button here on the left. This second button below it, labeled Group Registration, is for administrators who are completing bulk registrations for groups of 10 or more. Our tutorial today is for the regular individual registration, however, so we're going to click on the Attendee Registration button. If you plan to travel with a smaller group and need to register additional members, you'll still be able to do that by following this Attendee Registration button. That brings us to step one of the registration, where we will create our account. Here, we'll enter our personal information into all the required fields, which are the ones marked with little asterisks. So, we'll enter a first name, last name, address, and email address. Please note that upon successful completion of the convention registration, a confirmation email will be sent to the email address you provide here. We also need to create a unique username and password for the account, which we'll save and remember because it will allow us to log back into our account later on, anytime we want to update our registration. We'll finish by adding emergency contact information. Once all the required fields are filled out, we can click Continue here at the bottom and move on to step two. So, we've created our account successfully, and now in step two, we will identify and select the appropriate registration fee that applies to us. As you can see, our registration fee options here are listed out, and we've got Lion, Lioness, Omega Leo Adult, Alpha Leo Child, Guest Adult, or Guest Child. You'll also notice this numbered list along the left-hand side, which is a helpful navigation list that you can use to go back to previous steps. Select the category that applies to you. We'll select the first option for the purposes of this walkthrough. After you've made your selection, click the Continue button. You can see that once we click Continue, we're shown this pop-up window containing Lions Club International's Convention Registration Terms and Conditions. Read through this information carefully and click Accept to continue to Step 3. In Step 3, we'll be able to choose from a list of optional ticketed events. As you can see, there are already two options listed which may or may not be relevant to you as the person registering. This optional events section of the registration is an important one to make note of because the list of events will be updated leading up to convention. Convention service projects, for example, will be ticketed events that will show up here when they are finalized. As stated, these are optional events, so we don't have to make a selection in order to continue. We'll click Continue to move on to Step 4. In Step 4, we'll enter some additional information and preferences related to the convention, including any dietary preferences, ADA special needs requirements, language preferences, and information about your district and club. Upon selecting Yes for the ADA special needs field, you'll notice a new set of options appears, which you'll need to fill out. If you do not see your special needs requirements listed, you can download and fill out a special needs request form, which is available at the convention website. That completed form can then be emailed, mailed, or faxed to Lions International Headquarters. For today, we're going to mark No 
for special needs requirements and move on. There are a number of non-required fields in this step, including a question about your interest in service projects. If you want to receive communications about convention service projects, be sure to select this box. As with the previous steps, all the fields in step 4 marked with an asterisk are required, so we'll need to complete those in order to continue on to step 5. When you reach step 5, you'll be able to register members of a group who may be attending convention with you, such as family members. By clicking on Create New Registration, additional fields will appear. You can fill out these required fields for each individual in your group. If you do enter group members here in step 5, you will be able to pay for all of them together in the next step. We'll click Continue to move on to step 6. In step 6, we'll have a second chance to review all the information we've entered so far. At this point, it's worth spending a moment reviewing everything carefully to make sure it is correct to your satisfaction. You'll see your contact details, registration summary, and any group registrations you've entered. At the bottom, you'll see the total fees due calculated based on your selections in all the previous steps. You can go back to any of the previous steps to make updates by clicking on the links in the step list along the left-hand side. To continue on to enter payment information, click Continue. On the next screen, you'll see the total charges due and enter your payment information, making sure to fill out all of the required fields. When you've entered your payment information and confirmed the address fields match the credit card billing address, click on Submit Card Payment to complete your registration. As you can see, our registration has been submitted successfully, and we are now viewing the confirmation message and summary. You will also receive a registration confirmation email at the address you provided in your registration. This email is important, so make sure you verify you've received it you will need to bring your confirmation email with you to convention. Now that you're done, there are several places you can go. You can click the Book Now button to go directly to the convention housing site where you can make your hotel reservations. You can click Register Another to start the registration process over again. And finally, you can click on Go to My Account to stay on the registration site and view the account you just created. Let's click on Go to My Account. Our registration is complete, and now we're looking at our main account page, which is a summary of our registration information. This is the screen you'll see when you log back into your account. There are a number of links along the left-hand side here that we can click on to view and update our account. You'll recognize most of these sections from the original registration you submitted. Let's take a look at each of these briefly. The first is Summary. Here, you'll see a preview of your convention badge, which is generated based on the information you've entered in your account. The badge preview is followed by your contact details, attendee summary, and payment status. The next section is Additional Options. This is where you'll come to view and add optional ticketed events to your registration, such as luncheons, banquets, and convention service projects. Contact Details allows us to update the personal and contact information associated with our account. If we have any outstanding payments, that information will display here in the Payment section. You'll remember the Additional Info section from the registration process. In this section, you can update your dietary preferences, ADA special needs requirements, and information about your district and club. If you want to resend important convention notifications to yourself, click on Email Communications. You can use the drop-down menu to select the notification you want to send, such as your confirmation email. One of the most important sections in your account is going to be the confirmation section. If you are attending convention, you must print out this confirmation page and bring it with you to convention. Remember, all you have to do to access your confirmation is log into your account and navigate to this section. Then, 
you can simply print the page using your internet browser. In order to get your badge printed when you arrive at convention, you will need a physical printed copy of your confirmation page with you. The profile section is where you can view and update the username and password associated with your account. The hotel section displays important convention housing information and includes a book now link that will take you away to the hotel booking website. The final link in the list will simply take you away to the home page of the official convention website. That concludes today's walkthrough of the online convention registration process. Thanks for spending some time with us. We're looking forward to seeing you at the upcoming convention.